In practice at exercise 4.6, print range, we need to write a method called print range that takes two integers as parameters and prints out the range between them. So we're going to start this method by doing a public static and then void because we are just doing a system.out.print. We're not returning anything. And then our method name, which is print range. And then we're taking two integers as parameters. So we'll do ints and we'll just call this n1 and ints n2 for numbers one and two. Now we're going to be inside of our method. We know we have three conditions here. We have if our first number is less than our second number, if our first number is greater than our second number, and if they're equal. So we're gonna have to make if statements to kind of compensate for these. We'll have an if and then our n1 is less than n2. We are going to be in this if statement and then otherwise, if our n1 is actually greater than our n2, we'll be in this else if statement. Otherwise, we're just going to be in an else statement, which just takes care if they're equal to each other. So we'll say else, and then in here, we're just doing a system dot out dot print line where we're printing out um, n1. We can print out either one, it doesn't matter. Actually, if we print out a specific one, it'll make your code a little bit simpler, but we'll do that in a second. So we have this first if statement. We're going to have a for loop inside of here. We want to run this from this beginning number to our end number, but we want to increment our beginning number. So what we're going to do is we're going to say for int, and we'll just do a capitalized n1 is equal to our lowercase n1. We're going to run this as long as our capitalized n1 is less than our n2. And we're going to do this because we're going to increment our n1 every single time we run this so that we can print out the range. So we're going to have an n1 plus plus. Also, we should note we want to also print out n2. If we look at this range right here, we're printing out 2 to 7 when we're passed in 2 to 7. So this should be less than or equal to our n2. In here, we're just going to have a system.out.print statement where we print out our n1 and then we print out a space. So we have one n1 and then a space after it. We're going to have something similar for our n2. So we can just copy and paste our for loop. But we are going to change a few things. Our n1 is going to stay the same but we want to run this as if our n1 is the biggest number. So this is gonna change from being less than to greater than or equal to, and then we're going to have to change this to a minus minus. If we do this, we can submit, and see that we've passed all six out of six tests. Now, a way to make this simpler is to actually go into our else statement and just print the n2. That way we don't have to set it equal for either of these, because if it's equal, it'll just print the n2. Otherwise, for this if statement and this else if statement, it's going to stop here at the number right before the last one because we're only running it, you know, one less than that number. And then we're going to just come down here and print it anyways. If and only if we get rid of this else right here. That way this executes unconditionally. As long as this executes unconditionally, we're going to print an n2. And that's only because we always need the last value, whether it's equal, decrementing, or ascending. If we submit this again like this, we can see that this passes the tests as well.